Hey, wait. We're with you. take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. What she turned her hatred back to Odin. She recognized our interests were allied. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. Father, 
I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Andreas. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can see you A few moments later. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone joint stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear! Nudged more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you. Master Kratos! What is oh. it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> what else is there? The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. Quiet. Was I boring you? My sincerest apologies. Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Yell at me if you want. Believe it. What would that accomplish? I make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. Old. Prepare for a fight. Right Feel his wrath! 
nasty head. You all right, brother? Guide me, my king. <laughs> Our champions even less so. Trash. The lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. Finding that help changed things. Right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat. Yeah, it was great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day, and she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I try to tell her stories about her grandfather. Though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. Set that aside for now. Come. Look, the oarsmen. Ah, yes. The warriors who sailed their langskips across the realm in search of new lands to conquer. place belong to Sigrun's kingdom? It appears so. Go! 
In here. Nothing good. Herself was no slouch with a sword. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I saw a staircase on the other side. What do you think these chains are for?
See something. Oh. Father, I think I see another key piece over there. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. King Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Ah! <laughs> 
this before. You have? Yeah. I, uh, snuck out Sindri. He crawled under that giant arm to get to the Helheim Tower. Iron Peace. Not a golden war. Iron Peace? Doesn't one cancel out the other? No. It means it is better to live modestly and abide by strict rules of conduct rather than letting greed be the cause of conflict. Well said, brother. Mir, we were talking about how Thor and Sif raised Magni and Modi, and you said they raised them brutally. What does that mean? Hold that thought. I think I hear something sizable. Watch your left! 
that over there? It looks like a spear. Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Better to have weapons and not need them than the other way around. I guess. Tyr didn't want to intimidate anyone with his armaments, lad. But rather had them on hand in case his hand was forced. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. <gasps> Talking about how Thor and Sif raised Magni and Moda. And you said they raised them brutally. What does that mean? No more for now. Focus. you managed to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually. But it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just... Fenrir into Garm. Oh, oh, oh. Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. What a brilliant! for my trap. What? Nothing. Just playing around. I would fire, but the door. Great. Now, what's in here? Whoa. What is this place? Father, look. It's Seagrun's insignia. It must be your family's treasure. Good eye lies. I wager that door leads to the cause. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. Oh, 
doing there? Don't know, lad. Not sure I want to. Here rests Prince Dogger. Wait, Prince Dogger? Wasn't that Seagrin's brother? The one who killed her boyfriend, Helgi? Aye, he was. Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Seems Seagram put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. Mimir, are you okay? Yes, lad. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. Me, despite my flaws, my regrets, knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> 